team. Our guest today is Gary Black. Gary's the Agricultural Commissioner of the state of Georgia, but he's right now he is running for the U.S. Senate seat as a Republican. Uh, you're fighting a battle right now, aren't you? Sure, we're good, but we're doing well. Uh, I know uh, a lot of good friends in your viewing area, but all over statewide. I've been honored to serve as Commissioner of Agriculture for 12 years. And I have honored the people of Georgia's trust. And, and I, I think when this race talks about who you want to trust to do the job, who you want to trust to be your United States Senator every day, be able to go to work on day one. And, and that's why I believe Georgia is going to choose me. And I'm really honored to be with you today. Well, thanks for being here. You're running against Herschel Walker. Yeah. Herschel Walker is an iconic figure yeah. in Georgia lore, Georgia sports lore. And he's now dipping his toe into the political side of it. How hard is it to fight somebody who has 100% name recognition? Well, the name ID is one thing, but it comes down to that. There, I think there's fundamental things that people are going to, they're getting to now. Uh, because, see, we built political teams. We got our grassroots team started and made your announcements last June, and we've been working very hard. And I'm thankful for the support of 75 sheriffs across the state. I'm thankful for the support of our grassroots teams and elected officials and we you know you do those essential things but you know it really doesn't start until you qualify and so qualifying was now you know about five weeks ago so everyone that wants to be in this race if you got five thousand two hundred twenty dollars you can get your name on the ballot and so we all wrote that six of us wrote their name on that uh, with that check but the question that voters are taking on right now until may 24 and starting may 2nd with early voting is your qualified but who is qualified to be senator who is qualified to do this job on day one that's why i believe the majority of georgians are going to side with me is a victory on may 24th that you could force herschel walker into a run absolutely absolutely that's your that's the first victory you're trying to get right now. absolutely but i'm not beyond the fact of, of i'm thankful that 480 uh, thousand Georgians voted for me in 2018 when I didn't have an opponent in a primary. I got more votes than the top two on the ticket for governor in the primary. All of that is not immediately transferable. Absolutely not, but it's a great base to start. I'm thankful we've, we've outperformed past governors and senators in not just in rural areas, but uh, in the Atlanta areas by margins of 10,000 per county. So we have a great team it's a matter now of closing the argument. We're on our closing the you know close the argument tour. Uh, so I'm 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 in court from now till uh, the court of public opinion from now to May 24th, and uh, we'll close this argument. I believe we're going to be in a great place. I th I think it's winnable, but certainly if we get to a, if we get to a runoff. Uh, Herschel had a, gra a ground game one time. He didn't have the ground game we have, and 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 first people are going to come to realize he's never going to be elected. The baggage is too heavy. You it's don't too think much. he can beat Senator Warnock? The baggage is too heavy, Chuck. What we're talking, well, well, we're talking about threats with shootouts, police. I've got a record of public service. He's got a record at the police station. Georgians are not, not going to side for that, for their United States senator. He's never voted. His first time he ever voted in his life was in 2020. Never voted in a Republican primary. Republicans are going to choose a Republican, not someone that says that they are. He has, a, he has a position on uh, illegal immigration where he is for amnesty for people in this country illegally. I've been to the border twice during this race. 838,000 people have crossed our border illegally since October of last year. This has got to stop. I mean, you got to have somebody that has the integrity, has the uh, ability to assess those problems and solve problems, which is all I've done my entire career for Georgians. So those, those things are going to weigh heavy and they will be prosecuted. So my, my issue is this. We either have this conversation before May 24th, or Raphael Warnock will pour millions on top of this record. He'll never be elected. So he, Georgians have to, well, electability is a big part of the consideration coming up. He's recently revealed that he has a war chest, 27, 28 million, I mean, yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. And 24 million by the Democrats was put on the line just a week, uh, a couple of weeks ago for begin airing on uh, September 1st. You buy early, you get a little cheaper rate. So uh, uh, that uh, uh, I guess there's s somebody over on that side has a little wisdom about the power of the purse. So I wish it would transfer over to the Biden administration. We could uh, cure uh, 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 the inflation problems. But you pour 24 million on top of Herschel Walker's record starting September 1st, you'll never be elected. 
How do you make that case? You don't have the money yeah. to make that case in a in a broad at television. Or yeah, real realherschel dot com is something I take full responsibility for. Not with malice, Chuck, but from the standpoint of people have to know what is the real record. What 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 is the thirty year, twenty year record? And so those uh, are that information is readily available on realherschel dot com where we are we're forcing that through the uh, we have a, we have a video on there that actually is the commercial and it may be for your station if he is the the victor that we have a, a sample of the commercial that the democrats will run on wednesday morning and it's there it's there for your viewers to see and i hope they'll go there and look because the decisions uh herschel won't it won't come out won't debate won't talk about the issues he's not capable the folks have him have him hidden I want him to come out and talk. I'm happy to meet anywhere, anytime, but he's not going to do it. Not going to do public TV, not going to be WSB uh, uh, debate, not going to do any of them because he says it's a game. And the future of this country, my 18-month-old grandson, his future is not a game. I, I got it. You know, we got to wrap this up pretty quick, but you, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens and see if you or Lathan Sadler or someone with the other candidates can force this into a runoff. But you I'm sort of questioning your sanity and and I'll say that in a nice way because <laughs> you are the commissioner of agriculture yeah. you are the guy who the last 12 years you're in charge of Georgia's peanuts our pecans our peaches and our onions right. who gives up that job I mean yeah. that's Georgia's it, got an incredible agricultural it, it does heritage. there's there's two good reasons that first on a personal standpoint I've been, I've been honored to do this for 12 years and folks you're you know, viewers and, uh, and ma the highest majority of uh, anybody on the ticket, those voters have, uh, have voted for me that way three times and have let me do this job, and I'm grateful for it. But on the agriculture side, we have complete uh, inability and inexperience, and I, we we're facing uh, a, a United States Senate seat where we need leadership on the Senate Agriculture Committee, the Committee for Agriculture, Nutrition, and Forestry. We're coming into a 2023 Farm Bill with Senator Raphael Warnock, who has zero experience to, to step in uh, and, and actually has zero communication with the ag community in the state of Georgia. Uh, that, that is, uh, that's very about number one, number one industry in Georgia. It's important to provide leadership in that area. That's one reason, but I have a passion for our country. I, have a, I, I want to see the immigration invasion stopped. I want to be a part of the solution to inflation. And, and then you know your platform is pretty clear. I mean, you, it, it, I mean, you're running our traditional Republican platform. Our guest this morning has been Gary Black. Gary is running for U.S. Senate Republican primary, um, and start voting on May 2nd, May 24th. The results, Commissioner Black. Thank, thank you, you for joining us. God bless. Sir. Appreciate it, friends. You've been watching another Sunday conversation. Hope you come back next week.